These masks protect our families and ward off diseases from our villages. It has been done over generations, generations upon generations. It has become a continuous tradition. We've committed ourselves to it. As you know, we have always had international festivals in Porto Novo, but this time, this procession gives a nod to all that we have in terms of masks, and tangible heritage, and wealth to be valued. When you see all this, you know that we still have work to do. We still have content to provide so that the population and all of Benin can showcase themselves to the world to attract tourism to our country, Benin, especially through our masks, through this diversity of both secular and sacred masks. During ceremonies in the villages, it's a different matter. At that time, there's a more, how should I say it, I don't know if I should use the word mystical there. But when it's a festival like this, I believe there are a number of sacrifices that are made to participate.
Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.